Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a Sephora unboxing. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say. Sephora unboxing? So you know, the sale it came, it went. I shop late so i didn't get myself until late but we're gonna go over the things that i did get okay so i have the box here this is quite a lot of stuff but we can just pull and go through it so i only got one thing that was um i only got one thing that's a tool um so i got two of the viral velour makeup face puffs by Sephora. They're actually bigger than I thought they'd be. First of all, they come in packaging and then packaging, which I don't know that I'm a huge fan of, but here is the puff. It's bigger than I thought it would be, but Nonetheless, feels nice and it's black so it'll hide makeup well and not look so gross, but I got two of those. I got a lot of makeup, so let me just do like skincare real quick. So I have repurchased the Balmdia Bright Clarifying Line, so that includes the body wash. I have the body scrub and I have the cream. I review these in one of my um, empties videos. I will link it up here if I can remember but um, I got all three of those products. Again, I really 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 like them. They smell freaking phenomenal. So I re-upped on those. Another repurchase and you will see a review on this in my next uh, empties video. Um, but I repurchased it, so that should tell you quite a bit about how I feel about the product. That is the Inky List 10% Urea Moisturizer. I am starting to realize a trend with me and moisturizers that have urea in them. Um, I really do like this moisturizer. It did take a little getting used to as my other urea products did, but I need a bigger bottle than this. It is on the smaller side, but I will do a full review on that in my empties video for it. I have one more skincare thing. This is the Nude Skin Nude Sticks 5% Citrus Fruit and Glycolic Glow Toner. It's supposed to have grapefruit, lime, lemon, apple, and orange in it. Um, so this is a new uh, toner that I'm going to try. So she looks like this. She a little small, but... Oh, and it's got like a like a press pad, so you press your thing on the surface there. Um, I don't usually use cotton swabs for my toners, but all right. It's made with three percent glycolic acid, two percent fruit acid complex. It's a spa strength resurfacing treatment. It penetrates the skin. Gentle exfoliation, dissolves impurities, brightens, minimizing or minimizes rough skin texture, and then leaves you with a radiant and glowing complexion. So I will be trying this. I have finished two other toners that will be in my empties video. So this is replacing those two. Uh, just trying something different. That is all of the skincare. I have one hair care thing, and I did mean to buy this. The last time. This is the Shu Yumera Izumi Tonic Strengthening Energizing Water with Rice Water. I like this as a um, addition to my hair care. I think my hair reacts well to it, so I will be trying it again to see if I really was missing it because I haven't been using it for some time now, so I want to see if there's a drastic difference again so all right that is everything that is not makeup related the rest of it is makeup related so i have eyes um i have face stuff 
but like base and then bronzers and blushes and then I have lip products but I'm going to show this one product this isn't for me it's for my kit this is uh, the Makeup Forever Aqua Seal it's just a product that you can use to help seal and make thing make products waterproof uh, so I bought that for my kit because I need that okay, let's do eyes usually I do eyes last but it's my smallest category really so let's do eyes I got three things which is unusual for me so first thing I got or the first thing I'm going to mention is the Natasha Denona Zendo palette is beautiful actually it looks like this it's this beautiful like bronze metallic don't mind my desk and then like matte at the back there and then this is what she looks like it's an interesting arrangement of colors i like the arrangement do i have all of these colors probably but i do like the arrangement of the palette it was also on sale on sale so I picked that up. The other palettes I picked up are the two Huda Beauty matte palettes. So there is the Warm and Cool Obsessions. I originally wanted both and then one was sold out which was kind of fine with me because the one that I preferred I was still able to grab which was the Warm Obsessions and then shortly after the Cool Obsessions came back in stock and I pick that up so I just received the cool obsessions this morning actually but this is the warm one here with the warm shades and then oh no I just dug the corner of one palette into the other one because of course I did but this is the warm one this is the cool one And they're really nice, really beautiful packaging. I really like the Obsessions palettes, but this is my favorite, um, like, packaging. That's all my eye stuff. So we're going to go into base products. I have two things that are essentially primers, or at least I'll be using them as primers. One is a repurchase, and that is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster. I really do like this before makeup. It's one of my favorite before makeup serums. Um, it's just on the pricey side and it's on the small side, but I did re-pick it up because I do like the product. Um, it does add a lot of hydration to the skin beforehand, so it does do what it's supposed to do. It's just a little on the pricey side, but picked that up. Now, the second primer-ish product I got is actually the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder in Universal. I really like the formula for the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm. It's a little bit orange, the color that I have, but I love how it looks on the skin and it really controls my oils, like really controls them. So I bought the Universal to see if I could then make other foundations perform as well plus the, the packaging gorgeous gorgeous um, but it is the universal shade so it's just like a translucent white I'm gonna swatch her oh my god I forgot how this feels it is clear so it's on my middle finger there it is actually clear and I buff it onto the skin and there's nothing here See, rub, swatch, and there's nothing there, there's no cast, there's no weirdness, it feels wonderful though. So I'm going to try this underneath other foundations and see if I prefer that. Because again, I love the product, but the color is not like perfect for me. I'm still gonna wear it but I'd like to see if I can have an alternative so that I can get a closer match skin wise but I got that speaking of foundations I bought a foundation this is the makeup by Mario foundation I got the color 20 N I actually picked this up from Sephora in person 
because I needed the color match. But this is what she looks like. This is their Surreal Skin Foundation. It has like little micro glitters or like mica in them if you can see that like the shimmery so we'll see how that looks the bottle is beautiful the foundation looks gorgeous and it's a I tried it in store very nice match so I'm worried because it's got like literal mica in it but sorry iron oxides not mica but like still there's glitter in it like oh no there's mica in it too it's shimmery I'm, I'm a little worried but we'll give her a try I haven't really heard anybody talk about it but to be fair I haven't really been up on the current things at the moment I've just been super busy but I'm gonna try her I got two setting products so we looking like we got a full face in this beat um, two setting products. One is the Viral Sephora Translucence Setting Powder. Um, it's supposed to be a very basic setting powder, but it's supposed to work well, I guess. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> it's literally a basic setting powder. It's just in your standard sifter orientation. It's a translucent powder. I guess we will be trying this to see if uh, it lives up to the hype, I guess. But setting powder. And then I got the Pore Eclipse Matte Setting Spray because I have the, um, the primer for this that I really like. And I got the spray to see if it is just as good, if not better. Ooh. No smell, but I do like the spray on her. It's a little bit, ooh, just on the, like, catching that on my hands. It's, uh, mattifying f for real. <laughs> um, it feels good, though. Not sticky, not weird, not powdery or anything. I'm interested. So that's all the base products, but I also have, like, bronzers, blushes. So we're going to do bronzer and highlighter or contour and highlighter actually and then we'll go into blush because apparently I have a lot of blushes um so I got from Patrick Ta this is their uh, what's this this is their cream contour and powder bronzer duo first of all this is massive but like go off I got the shade she's chiseled I love Patrick Ta's products, but and I love the packaging, but they get fingerprints like nobody's business, but look how pretty. This is a contour. Like, it's a whole mood, but this is a contour. I, I'm just going to open her. It has a beautiful mirror on the top, by the way, just an FYI, but this is the color. So we have a powder at the top here, we have a cream at the bottom, and it's covered by a little plastic tab that you just open. It doesn't click or anything, so just make sure you close it all the way. But that, I love the color. It is an actual like contour, like it's a cool tone, but it's not too grayish. So I'm excited to have an actual contour again in my kit or in my collection because I haven't really like contoured in a long time and then I got a highlighter I have wanted this for so long for so long I have other colors in it but this is the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bond Balm and it's in Cognac Candy I'm telling you I swatched this in the store and I lost my mind for the summer. This is going to be insane. It is so pretty. I don't even really want to touch it. And the feeling of these reminds me of the Stila. I want this to live on me. You probably can't even see that, but that's fine. 
I want this all over me all summer. It is beautiful. It does what it needs to do. If you've ever seen it, I suggest you just watch it in store. And it was on sale on sale because it was on sale plus the sale. So snag that up. A good little deal there. All right. Moving on to the blushes that I got. I got five, apparently. I didn't even... Did I intend on buying five blushes? They're not all the same kind of blush. They all have different... Yeah, severely different formulas. <laughs> so that's how I'm justifying how I got five different blushes. Let's start with your kind of like standard blush. So I got the House Labs um what's it called color fuse blush this is uh lady gaga's brand i got the color dragon fruit days it is a first of all packaging because house last packaging is stunning but the color of this this like ooh, she is reflective because that wow Okay, first of all, it's not white, it's pink. <laughs> that is insane. Okay, Dragon Fruit Days. It is this beautiful, like, um, dragon fruit pink color. Like, it really does look like dragon fruit. Beautiful, beautiful pink color. It's darker in person. It's really reflective. <laughs> I, I'm excited to see how this looks. On the skin. I also don't have like a pink, like a bright pink, baby pink, like not baby pink, like Barbie pink color. It's almost like purple as well. Like I like, I like the color. I think the color is really unique. So this is what draw, drew me to this one. Plus I wanted to try the formula. I got, let's go into a cream. So by LYS beauty beautiful packaging in this like triangle by lys beauty i got their higher standard satin matte cream blush in the color epic i had a feeling i would like this so i got a color that i would probably wear all the time this is the packaging beautiful again it is a triangle and here is the color this is epic it is like a dark terracotta rust color my favorite kind of blush color wanted to get something that I would probably wear let's do a bomb <laughs> all different things this is a bomb I got the yummy skin flushed color so this is their blurring balm powder technology but this is a blush and i got the color prima donna i had a hard time picking colors of these but i like i know i like the the formula for skin i don't i just i don't know i just wanted to test the formula before i went all out on the color so i just picked one but it was hard to pick one color but this is like a it's more of a red, but like an orange red. So it's not quite terracotta. It's a little bit different than what I would go for, but she's beautiful. I kind of want to swatch her, but... The feeling of this ball is immaculate. The color, immaculate. It blends out to like it feels like literally nothing on my skin it is a beautiful flush of color it is not budging it is a beautiful color I am so happy with this that I might get other colors I'm gonna have to try this on the skin all right let's try a liquid I caught the Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand Easy Liquid Blush by the one and only Charlotte Tilbury and I got it in Pillow Talk Dream Pop which I believe is the darker. There's <clears throat> more than one shade of this. 
but she looks like so. So it's a literal like wand. Losing my voice. Literal wand. <sighs> but it looks like this. It is really pretty. I have a feeling I'm going to do a monochromatic look with this blush. Twist to open, gently squeeze to release product, twist to close. Cool. One more, and that is also by Patrick Ta. I know we've talked about powders and we talked about creams, but this is a powder and a cream, so again, a different formula. I heard a lot about these blushes in the fact that you're supposed to put the cream on top of the blush, on top of the powder. Yeah, you're supposed to layer the cream on top of the powder. I wanted to try that out because everything that I've learned about makeup tells me don't do that. So I'm intrigued. Zoom. This is what she looks like. She is a smaller version of the contour palette, but stunning nonetheless. Opens and it looks similar. So this is more of a like tamer color. This is um color is this this is in she's baked so it's a nice it's a different color for me because it's more on like the brownie side but I think it's gonna be beautiful especially on my skin so yeah same deal there's a cream on the top powder on the bottom and this little flappy doodad that covers the cream and a high-end mirror on the top there so beautiful compact that's all of the blushes wonderful um glad we got through all of the blushes because we now have a huge feat and i didn't even realize that this was as big of a problem as it is the lip products are a different different situation these are all of the lip products that i got I've got lip glosses, lipsticks, lip liners, all the things. Um, I don't even know where to start. Let's start with the lip liners because that seems easy enough. I got two lip liners. One is a repurchase. One is new to me, not true to me. So the first one is MAC, MAC lip lip liner or lip pencil in chestnut this is an oldie but a goodie i needed another one because i can never find my dark brown lip liners they always go walking because i take them into my purse and then i can't find them so i repurchased chestnut nothing exciting but wholly necessary then i saw a video by a content creator about this color and it looks divine this is by makeup forever this is one of their artist color pencils and this is in the color dimensional dark brown it's basically chestnut but different maybe hopefully it's really dark it's a really dark brown color chestnut is a lighter much more warm chestnut brown whereas dimensional dark brown is a very dark cool tone brown yes that's how i justify that they look different okay well i now have two dark brown lip liners it's right here if anybody is curious chestnut dimensional dark brown those are my lip liners. This is the only lip oil I got, and I know everybody is raving about this right now. This is the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Tim Tinted Lip Oil. I got the color, or I was able to get, the color Wonder. I have mixed feelings about this. Um, it did look good going on. It gets significantly darker once you swatch it. Like, it looks once you when you first apply it on it's like a milky light color and then it turns into a very vibrant like almost red color it tingles on the mouth where there is no indication that it would do that so i don't know if i'm having allergic reaction or what it's not a very thick oil it doesn't last all that long i tried it today because i want to see what the hype was about um it doesn't last all that long the tint is very strong <laughs> 
very strong and it does layer but it did make my lips dry like it made them peel and I had to exfoliate them but I don't know about this I'm gonna try it again right now I'm not in love with it it's pretty I love the packaging looks like this and then it's got a beautiful doe foot so you can see on the doe foot it's really dark but like the actual I don't know the actual lip color is like a milky color I don't know it's interesting um, it feels good going on and then like very quickly is not my best friend you can kind of still see the tint I exfoliated my lips and you can still kind of see the tint I exfoliated my lips and put on a nude lip gloss, lip gloss to cancel out the color to do this video and you can still kind of see it so it is if you want a lip tint it'll give you that for sure for sure but I don't know in terms of like the nourishing of it it's not very so I will try that again and see what happens but right now I'm not neither here nor there about it let's do balms because I bought two apparently this is the forget the filler lip plumping line smoothing tinted balm stick by lawless I do love their forget the filler lip gloss so I was like sure the block lip balm it sounds great I got the color Georgie and she is a pretty almost terracotta-y nude sort of balm color my favorites in colors so I'm excited I already have product on my lip but feels good nothing unusual nothing weird feels good it's supposed to be lip plumping so let's see if it tingles but um oh yeah starting to tingle I like the color even though I have other things on I like the color it is tingling a little bit so we'll see how much it tingles but I like how it feels I like how it looks this is probably gonna go right into my handbag once uh, I'm done this I got another lip balm this one is real bougie this is the Pat McGrath lip fetish sheer color lip balm <sighs> this one is in the color blow up now I know everybody was raving about that one like purplish color I did not get that I first of all but I did not get that color I got like a nude color as I do I prefer it I think I would use it more so feels amazing I love their lip balms they are like almost wet feeling they're just very very nourishing very very hydrating very pretty looking on the lip they're just really expensive but I got one and hopefully I don't lose it. I got a gloss balm. So let's transition from balm into glosses. Uh, this is by Sephora. This is their colorful gloss balm. I got the color Berry Go Round. Uh, the clear one was hyped up and obviously because it was hyped up, it was sold out. So... I got a color because why not gloss balm so it's a uh, kind of an old school type product it is a squeezy tube with a little applicator at the top there you just squeeze and product comes out I don't want to feel it and they give you a decent amount of product too so this wasn't expensive at all Ooh, love the feeling it's a very very sheer color which I don't mind oh oh it smells like my childhood I am gonna put some of this on even though I have a bomb on I'm gonna put this gloss bomb on oh just oh this is nice I like Mm -hmm. 
yeah, it's much more color on the lips, but it feels good. It feels kind of more like an oil. It's not a thick gloss by any means. It's not sticky or anything. It's very lightweight, very gel-like, very nice. I haven't even used this much yet, but I think I would recommend it. I just want to see if it causes any like weird drying, but it feels good as of right now. Lovely. I've got so much things on my lips right now. So many things. Let's do the rest of the glosses. I got another gloss balm cream by Fenty. This is in Fruit Snacks. It's a beautiful, like, red berry -y color, gorgeous color. I'm going to be using this all summer. Beautiful. Beautiful color. And you know I love me some Fenty gloss balms, so every... It's like every time we have a sale, I have to do this. And then I also got the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Color. This, the marketing really got me on this. First of all, this is what it looks like. All of the tubes kind of match the color that they come in. So this is in Spice Aesthetic. And here is what she looks like. She is wow that's a lot of pigment first of all it is really pigmented that's the swatch <laughs> really pigmented really high shine it feels wet on the lips or well, wet on my skin wow it looks like chocolate these are super pigmented, so high shine, very thin, beautiful. I mean, this is dope. These are really pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. It's not sticky, I'm not getting any lines or anything, and it's so high shine. The color is so pigmented and so even. Like what? It covers everything. My color, my lips are not the same color. There's quite a bit of discoloration with my lips and it's covered all of that. And it is so thin. No, this feels dope. If you're into like, um, highly pigmented lip glosses this is one to run for it's really thin um yeah it's really thin but at the same time like this is me rubbing at it so let's say it just like wore off it is still quite pigmented it's very much still there I like this. I like this a lot. I might need all the colors. Um, that's the Makeup by Mario uh, plumping lip color. Beautiful lip color. By the way, I love this. I'm buying more of these. Just saying. Okay. Now that we have that, love her. Um, we're gonna do again we have a transition product so I got two colors of these because I did swatch them in store so I'm not being anyways I swatched them in store these are by one size this is their lip snatcher colors so it is a liquid lipstick and a liquid lip gloss so on each side I got the color excuse me I got the colors oh open wide and I also got the color night walker so I got this like beautiful berry -y color with this like gorgeous duochrome flip and then again a dark brown color this time with again a duochrome flip the glosses are beautiful like 
they're gorgeous but you just twist and the center is what holds the brushes like the glosses on these are just like they're simply just stunning on their own on top though so pretty I can't wait especially for this one this one is my favorite I think I will use the most so the glosses are just beautiful on their own but on top they're going to be legendary oh I missed the lip gloss Bruh. I got a Pat McGrath lust gloss I now have two full sizes of these I'm surprised um this one is in love potion and it is this like pinky um like light pink color it is beautiful I love the lust gloss formula I wanted something that was like less of a color so I got this one it's a very sticky gloss FYI it is thick it is quite sticky it's not stringy but it is a thick sticky gloss so if you're more onto the thin almost oil like gel like glosses this is not that but if you like the traditional thick glosses then she's there all right two more products I am almost done I got finally from Fenty their Stunna Lip Paint in Uncensored. This is the red nail polish looking uh, lipstick I took forever to get. But here she is finally in all of her glory. This beautiful like high heel, I don't know, nail polish looking lipstick. I'm sure you've all seen it was all the rage when it came out this little doe foot applicator but I finally have it and I can't wait to wear it because I love me a good red so and the last thing also from Fenty y'all seen this one too because it's all the rage right now this is the Fenty icon velvet liquid lipstick and I got the color breadwinner I also wanted the red one but that is sold out been sold out can't find it but I have the brown this is what she looks like how beautiful the packaging between this and the other one are wholly different but I like them both in their own way but here is the brown there it is a very very matte like velvety uh looking lipstick i cannot wait to try this on this with that lip gloss from mario should i try that right now first wipes wow that's a dark brown And she is not. <laughs> okay, well, that's done. Very pigmented. Feels great, actually. I'm just gonna sharpen these lines, and uh, I think I'm done. That was the easiest lip application I have ever done in my life. even pigmented feels great thin beautiful okay um let me grab the lip gloss <laughs> Houston we have a problem that is like the most even glossy dark brown lip I've ever seen it's so pretty so pretty and then the lip gloss will wear off and I still have the color what I need to do a look with this this is stunning okay 
while I'm really really happy with my purchase the only thing that I'm questionable about is the soft pinch lip tint I thought I would love that thing that's why it's the only thing that I broke and put on and it disappointed but everything else seems to really be living up to the hype or to the standard or to what I researched about it so I am really 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 excited I am going to do a full face with some of these things and we will uh, get to see how they work so um this video has already been long enough but that is everything that I got from my Sephora haul or everything that I got from Sephora from the sale if you liked this video please give me a like comment and a subscribe comment anything that you wish to see a review on or wish to see in the full face and I will see you in the next one bye